Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk how to make Android emulator rooted for security purposes if you're a pen tester or security enthusiast or maybe you just want to play with custom ROM without installing them on your own device or maybe you're the one who is developing some applications and you want to spend some time with the physical phone and one quick and easy way to install the application and test it. So let's do this. Let's install the emulator. And uh, for this, after we download and install Android Studio, we're going to click on the new project. Then we can basically choose any of this. Doesn't really matter. So I'll do the empty activity and then we click next. My application finish. Yeah, so if you have a newer version, you have the like new UI for this. Android Studio and uh, the device manager will be on the right. If you have older version, this will be uh, on top. So I'm going to click on device manager and I have a, a RAM processor. If you have Linux or Windows machines with a different processor, you probably will have uh, 8664 processor. So let me show you. So then we create the emulator. We click on create the device. Then we have visual frames it doesn't really matter which one you will choose just for sake of appearance and as i said i have arm if you have different version so then you will probably have x86 64 and there are really two ways of installing the emulator and the first one we choose android open source project this one will be without google api so you will not be able to install google applications on it uh from the google play and you need to install it with uh adb so when you have apk file or if you're a developer you have uh, your application you just uh, need to click run the application from the android studio itself and um you should really don't need those things so you probably just can pick the easier way of routing Android emulator. Uh, and this is the first option. Um, later, I will show you the second option with the uh, Google Play installed. So for this one, we, we choose the Android open source project. Then we click next. Uh, it shows us just going to name it. So now we'll click finish. Yep, it's ready. We start it. And yeah, as you see, there's nothing really out of interest in here. It's just the basic of uh, applications and nothing really more. And uh, next, after this step, we need to turn it off. We need to click the power off. And so next step, we don't really care about this. So we click now. We need to make this bash. We need to be able to run emulator from the bash terminal. Uh, and to do it, you need to add the Android Studio to your path and uh, ADB including. So for that, for Mac, you see, uh, I just easy like that. We can add it and run. For Linux, the paths will be slightly different. And for Windows, I will leave everything in the description section so you'll be able to do it by yourself. So after you add it, you then go ADB devices and see it's running. You can go to ADB. Yep, you have ADB, it's running. Okay. So after that, we need to run uh, our emulator in a specific way. We need to make sure that the system is writable. And then we pick our uh, virtual device name. And then we give the partition size to install larger applications or do any changes without worrying much. So we have Pixel 9. Emulator. We have pixel 9, so then we just copy it. Then we need to change our emulator or pixel 9. And we run our emulator. And uh, as you can see, the system image is writable. So that's why we needed that particular line. 
and to rule it, you need to open another terminal. And in this terminal, you're going to be running ADB devices, C or devices online. And we go ADB root. Okay, it says we have different devices. Okay, no problem. And uh, ADB root, ADB mount. Again, the same. Yep, remote succeeded. So right now, try an ADB. Okay, um, I'm going to run this thing one more time. Shout. Yep, and we have root access. For case, have to run ADB root, ADB remote. So this will make sure that you run uh, root on a mounted system that is basically can be writable. So you can write there anything. And yeah, it's just a normal device. Okay, and when you say that you want to install applications uh, using the Google Play, we're going to create a separate device. And I'm going to install the same uh, version of Android, but this will be the google play one with the google play and google apis enabled so again finish yep we have our our device uh, then we need to make sure that we have everything set up in uh, our emulator okay uh we're going to run it Yes, it runs. We do ADB devices. Nice ADB. ADB float. And you see the error we have. Cannot run as root introduction builds. So that's why we're going to download a couple more uh, tools. So the first one will be root root avd, and you will see that there is a link on the GitHub, but you just scroll a bit down and you'll see the GitLab link. We need the GitLab version. Then we just download it. I have mine already in there, so I'm just going to proceed to the actual folder. So uh, when we run it, just gives us a view of what basically we need to do with this. So we're going to list all available AVDs, virtual devices. We have uh, API 29, so we don't really need the Android 34 or anything else. So if we just, I'll just show you. In this case scenario, I have Google APIs, Play Store. This line basically the one I'm looking for. Um, and it's not working. Okay. Because I have a lot of different ADBs, uh, ADB devices. So if you have something like I have, need to do the ADB kill server and then ADB devices. And then you need to rerun your emulator. Also make sure to uh to exit from your android studio we don't really need it anymore so we'll run it again we we'll check our devices yeah this is our device finally so then if you if you don't have uh problems like i have you just uh run the adb devices to make sure that you have everything properly working and then you see that I have emulator. You probably just need one line in the ADB devices. So after that, you uh, just hit enter. And basically this uh, root AVD script installed Magisk uh, required for routing the devices. So uh, they are going to shut down the avd and as you see automatically shuts down yes we don't need it okay what till it finishes and run again 
an additional application here called Majisk, which we need for root. It requires additional setup. We click OK. Um, yeah, click close. Then we click direct install recommended. Let's go. All done. Click reboot. Yes. So these steps are necessary. Next, we'll wait till it finishes. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, we have a couple things and support it. We just need to form a USD card to make it. One device on everything in here. Okay, none. And JISC. Okay. Um, latest installed v six four. Okay, and we we'll run our application. And to update JISC. Okay. Step twenty six four. Installed. Okay. Um, we also need to install a couple more additional tools. The one is Revo. You just download it from Relatus. And the next one is LS Post. We also download the Revo release. Then choose those tools. I can drop those. I'm going to install Rero first. The boot. Okay, we see that it's post partial activated care and we can install any tools from here to bypass the cell pinning or anything else like root checks. So next, I'm going to verify minimizes A to B. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you can see the same error, but this time run ADP shell, then run su. See, it's various request. Go to credit. And right now we have root access. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And after this minimal setup, you will be able to install additional tools, uh, certificates for Burp suit or other tools, and also Frida. I will leave the instructions for Frida in the description section as well. See you next video. Bye.